Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am taking part in a sewing challenge. Finally, first time for the year. It has been such a long time since I've done one of these. I'm a little bit nervous but excited at the same time. So Claire of Penguin and Pear is hosting the hashtag sew a top challenge. It's sort of like a blog hop but for vloggers on YouTube. So there are, I'm pretty sure, almost 28 of us. I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna be taking up the entire month of August showcasing our makes. Now, if you've never heard of Claire, I'm telling you she has a wonderful YouTube channel. It's geared towards the plus size sewing, but she also makes a lot of other wonderful projects. So I do encourage you to check out her channel sometime soon. I just did a quick search to double check how many participants will be taking part in the challenge and we have someone for every day of the month of August. So be on the lookout for that series of videos coming to you guys from all corners, probably from all corners of the globe because there are many certain vloggers that are taking part in this challenge. Now let's get to my part. What will I be making for this project? I have so many options that I'm going through the process of eliminating and then new ones pop up but I feel like these four are the top contenders so if you guys want to see what they are please meet me in the next clip all right so to make sure I stay on task I have my blog posts where I shared those possible makes and I'm going to follow them and just make sure that I don't get distracted with other patterns while I share these here with you today. So most of you guys know that I love Brito style. So all of these patterns are from the Brito style magazines. I will leave you guys the name and number of all these designs down in the description box so you guys can go and check them out or you can also follow the link to my blog. Now the first pattern as you can see is a beautiful sleeveless blouse with ruffles down the front princess seam of this bodice. It has a very slim silhouette from the waist so that peplum isn't too big. It's a really nice top. I do like it a lot. I think it's very comfortable. It's something that you would really feel excited to wear um, going to coffee or tea with a friend. It's nothing formal. It's just really a cool, comfortable, beautiful piece. Now this design is from the May issue of 2020. I think it is design 103, but I will definitely leave all the information in the description for you guys. There is a zip at the back of this bodice, so it makes it really a quick make. I like putting in zips. I don't necessarily have a fear of putting zips into my projects. The only fear I have is of exposed zippers. Some people think it's really easy. I just feel like I don't ever want to make a mistake with it and have it go wonky and offside and it just looks terrible. So I try to stay away from exposed zippers, but I would like to try one. Now, the ruffle on this pattern can totally be up to you if you use the same fabric or not. I like to push the envelope and go my own way. So if I decided to make this and make it with a solid fabric, I can definitely see adding a lace as this ruffle option to bring in more drama and texture to this pattern. Now, let's move on to option two. Option two is another one from Birder Style. This is from the April magazine. I really like the feel this one gives off. To me, it feels 
and I think it has a lot to do with the trouser it's paired with but it feels like it's for the safari like you're going out you're enjoying nature you're relaxed you're comfortable but you still have that feminine feel I love feeling like a girl and being all feminine and just beautiful I just love that so I like pulling feminine pieces in with strong masculine piece i like to balance it off that way sometimes and i think this blouse with this trouser totally gives that effect i love the ruffle and right now ruffles are big puff sleeves are big for this season so i feel like it's it keeps in with the romantic theme that i see going on right now but it's not too much if you don't like over the top you know this is a good one to start with so i may try this one the only fear i have with this project is eyelet fabric is something that i rarely use if ever and i'm not sure because i've never had any experience with it i'm not a hundred percent confident that it might look the best that it would but you know Again, this is sewing, so we have the opportunity to go back in and try again. And when you make a mistake, at least for me, I really never make that mistake a second time. My mind is trained. It knows that, nope, hold up. We can't do that. Remember last time, you really weren't happy. Don't do it. So for me, I could try this one. I like it. It definitely is a top contender for this challenge. Now let's move on to option three. How many of you are returning visitors to this channel? I love halter tops. They are by far the signature style of me. And I like to move my hands a lot because I feel like in this video, my hands have been going all over the place. But this is definitely my style my signature style would definitely be wearing a halter top and a jeans on a saturday to go knocking about town going shopping having tea and just enjoying my day i love that style it's so comfortable and it just brings out my shoulders love it now let me show you this pattern take a breather and look at it it's so beautiful it's everything to me i love this pattern I think it's fabulous. I love the darts. It helps cinch the waist in. I love the neckline. It's really high, and you would think that not having a, a V-neck or something that exposes your chest would make you look sexy, but this definitely makes you look really sexy. It pulls you, you, It just pulls everything up here. People are looking at you, you know, the eye, and then your strong shoulders are out there. It just screams confident, and I love this top. Now, the second version of this top in the magazine is a more lighthearted one. It's got more, um, I don't know if it's splatters of paints or polka dot or whatever, but it's just, it gives off a different feel. And I've said this many times on my channel that the fabric makes the pattern. Depending on what fabric you use, you can get a whole different effect on your project. And you can definitely see it side by side with these two pieces. The first one is so sophisticated and serious, a little edge, but definitely polished and serious. While the second version is so relaxed, I'm out, I, I want to go and have fun on the weekend. It's such a light-hearted version to that top. So if you're new to sewing, do consider your fabric choices. It will definitely give you a whole experience and a new theme to the project that you're working on. So those are the main patterns that I'm considering for this challenge. And I'm hoping to get this video posted on Sunday, which is tomorrow the 4th rewind the third of August because I have to complete my make by the 15 and have my video up there so I don't have a lot of time to make my decision I'm going to ponder it over the night and I will decide if you guys want to chime in do leave some comments because I, I think I'll cut all the patterns out and then 
probably by noon on Sunday I'll start sewing so depending on what you guys say I'll see if I feel that vibes at the same time and my fabric works with what I'm hoping to achieve so I also had a, a wild card for this because my newest version of Berto style came earlier this week and I fell in love with this pattern. It is such a beautiful, simple neckline. I feel that the fabric choice really sucks you in because it's not a traditional sort of jersey fabric. That print is just not typical. I think it's, it's warm. It definitely is giving you um, a fall feel. And I think that's drawing me in with those warm, rusty, a color tone and this one could be a contender especially since my time is dwindling down I might actually go for this but in the end you guys will have to come back on the 14 to see what my choice is how um, I styled it and yeah the overall pro project I'm really excited about it now if you guys want a few more um, inspirations if you would like to tag along and join in with us I have my link to my blog post down below I have a few more options that would be really nice and sweet for a top for the summer so check those those out I'm really excited to get this project rolling so Enough said, man. I gotta get cracking. So I will see you guys on a next video. If you like this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Turn your notification bell on if you're subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, please take a moment to consider if you enjoy my content, then I would love to have you follow me. And that will just bolster my confidence and just get me motivated to make more of these. So I'm gonna sign off now give you my thanks and well wishes for you throughout the weekend. Bye-bye.